I think for people with type 1, it's a rare individual who would not benefit greatly from continuous glucose monitoring. And I think in the year 2018 and beyond, it is the standard of care for people with type 1 diabetes. The Eversense continuous glucose monitoring system is a different approach. You have a very small sensor that in a few minutes is put in in the office under the skin and it heals up. Then you put over it a transmitter that takes those numbers from the sensor to the cell phone and the actual transmitter itself is very ergonomic, it's very flat. Uh, and kind of a little bit curved so it fits the body well. And it also gives on-body alerts if your cell phone is off or you're not near your cell phone. It vibrates when you're high or low in, in a particular pattern. It uses a fluorescent technology, which is different than the current CGM systems, and it's extremely accurate. People with type 1 diabetes are living with their disease 24-7. They go to their caregiver every three months for maybe a 15 minute visit. And so people with diabetes really need to manage their own diabetes. And continuous glucose monitoring will help them do that. The Eversense continuous glucose monitoring system offers patients a choice compared to the currently available CGM systems that use a transcutaneous sensor insertions. Yeah, one of the scariest things living with diabetes, especially type one, because all of us type ones uh, I have type 1 myself, uh, or afraid of hypoglycemia, especially at night, but also during the day. And not only is hypoglycemia a problem, the fear of hypoglycemia. So with the Eversense, you get alerts and alarms, not only on your cell phone, but also on body. I'm pointing over here because that's where you put it. Uh, and you get the vibratory alerts too. So I think having the comfort of the alert and alarm system going 24 seven just allows you to go through life with less stress and less uh, worries about having hypoglycemia. I see patients in my uh, clinic where I see a lot of people with type one diabetes and it, it is the rare patient that could not benefit greatly from continuous glucose monitoring. And we know that the majority of people with type one are not wearing a continuous glucose monitoring device and a certain subset of those stop wearing the traditional ones after a certain amount of time. Another barrier is uh, may, they may not like the setup of the currently available continuous glucose monitors. And you know, people are looking for different choices. And I think having different models of continuous glucose monitoring, the way they're applied, uh, the way they work, um, I think makes a difference because we know one size doesn't fit all.